G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the short Henry repeating rifle. So this bad boy here is a highly customizable lever action rifle type weapon, which I'll get into the attachments right now. So for the receiver, this bad boy goes all the way up to advance, and we'll go ahead and chuck that on nice and easily there. Now for the barrels, we want to have this thing have the longest barrel, and that'll give us the best ammo capacity. As you can tell here, this has got 18 round in its ammo capacity, which does make a lot of sense, um when you actually get into playing with this weapon, but it's a good bonus to have all that ammo at your disposal. Now for the stock, we want to put that all the way to the bottom one because exceptional shattered accuracy and superior recoil and aim with scopes, improved rush and faster reload speed is probably a good thing to have on a lever action rifle. So for the sights, we can choose between a standard or a glow sided and we'll choose a glow sided even though we might go ahead and check on a scope later. That should be good, but We'll leave that there for now, and we can chuck a suppressor on this thing to make it a li little bit better for our stealth weapon, and that's good. And for the sights here, we can choose between no sights, glow sights, glow sights, other sights, lots of sights for you to look through. Now, I'm not going to choose any of the raised sights because I think they're a little bit tacky, and I think that glow sights would do just fine. And for these ones, you can actually change the glow of the... Uh, um, thing so I'll choose magenta because I like that color So you can put a foregrip on this thing if you feel like it So yeah, we'll probably put on the ebony foregrip to match the stock there and that makes it look a lot cooler and Next up so we've got a choice of a scope if we want to I'm not putting one of those on it Says long scope, but there's no scope present. That's that's kind of weird But we'll go ahead and go with it and for the rear side. We'll go ahead with the uh, let's see, half circle rear glow sight. Why not? Do we get a change? Do we get a, to change the color of that? Not sure. But the material of this thing, you can choose between the standard, which is a gold, a black, case hardened, which is a little bit um, less black, I suppose, and silver. That'll go nicely with the chrome pit boy, so I'll put that on there. And I think that's about it for it. There's a magenta glow for both of the sights there. Let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so we're in Gunners Plus now, and look at these sights. I, I think I went a little bit too far with it all, hey. So we'll go ahead and take out that turret out there. Um, for some reason, not hitting him with the best accuracy, which is strange. The sights are right on, right on him all that time, but just couldn't manage to hit him. So yeah, as you can tell here, this thing has the standard lever action rifle from the Far Harbor DLC animations to it. The funny thing about the animations there is that It'll always reload exactly five bullets, no matter how much you shoot. And since this thing has um, 18 in the mag, you can tell that this really doesn't make a lot of sense. So we'll go ahead and just cowboy it up against this gunner. Just stagger him back with a gun bash there and take him out like that. And pop five more in it, but seven more pop in. So while that's a little bit of a flaw, I can look past that. Hey, you've got a gorse rifle. It's a pleb gorse rifle. I'm gonna take it just to spite you. Donkey's yeah. gorse rifle, not too bad. But back to the repeater here. So this thing's models and textures are actually pretty good. And while it doesn't have a little uh, thing there to actually chuck the ammo in, I'm not going to fault it too much for using standard vanilla animations. I feel like they are um, ported in just fine and obviously the modder can go ahead and fix this later on but the way the sights look on this thing I put the rear sights on and also the sights before that so it looks like we've got like a sort of a space age type look with this scope which is kind of weird but who knows okay who was that looks like we have alerted all of the uh, dudes around here despite having a suppressor so maybe taking out that turret at the start wasn't the best idea but we've got a cheeky little sneak attack crit there which we'll use to our advantage to just catch some of the more of these gunners off guard. Let's check out this thing with a little bit of gun through magic if we can quickly light up four of them. Nope, we can't. We'll just go ahead and crit them just like this. So we don't have the power to take out a legendary gunner from full health, which is kind of disappointing, but we should be able to take out this next one with that extra 50% damage on that third target, which is nice. And we managed to get one of our crits back, by, I believe, by shooting that one. So we'll pop a crit reload here, and we'll go ahead and take out these gunners here. 
All right, we gotta take out that turret because he will stagger us to no end. There he is. We'll just go ahead and crit him in his little combat inhibitor. That should finish him off. And then we'll be able to just cowboy it up. Come on. The Kari is much better user of a lever action rifle than the Soul Survivor is. Maybe it's because of where they live, but the Soul Survivor just doesn't crank the uh, lever as fast as I'd like her to, so that's a shame. And one of the things about this Henry repeating rifle here is that um, the stock is a little bit longer than what the... Alright, that's a crit for you, mate. You've earned that. And bugger off, turret. You can... Yeah, say goodbye. You're in turret hell now. Yes, about the stock. So, one of the things about this stock is it's a lot longer than the uh, Far Harbor lever action rifle stock. So, it sort of just sits under there. It doesn't look like you're using the stock too effectively. And plus, you can get a little bit of clipping if you're unlucky. We are ready to go into Nerd Rage, are we? Alright, well, as soon as we round this corner, this thing hasn't activated by itself, so we'll just force it to by doing that. And that was a nasty explosion. I really ought to kill these gunners quickly before they kill me. Luckily, in this slow motion esque time, bullet timey thing, we can go ahead and get some easy shots on these dudes. And these last two left should be fairly easy kills, assuming I don't get killed in the process. Ah, uh, we'll use bats to finish him off. No shame in doing that, is there? There we go. One of them goes down, and we're able to take out that gunner nice and easily with a crit. Wow, this one survived. Hmm, must be getting sloppy. Alright, she's taken out. Last turret goes down, and that is Gunner's Plaza cleared. And have a stim pack. You're probably hurting for one. There we go. So that was it against people in Gunners Plaza. So for the vanilla game, this thing is fairly balanced with what already is offered in the terms of lever action rifles. But if you're into your Henry repeaters, this thing will add a heap more style points to your kills. So something to look forward to or look out for if you're into that sort of thing. I'm going to shut my mouth now and let's move on to Swan. Alrighty, so I've changed a little bit around on this weapon, I've put a medium scope on it and chucked on the standard goldish type uh, camo, or camo, colour on it. So I just want to go ahead and appreciate the specular maps on this. I love how this thing reflects to the light and reacts to the lighting conditions. The specular maps on this are good and uh, for those of you who are not in the know, Specular Maps is just a map of the textures that make the whole thing shiny, so definitely good on the modder there for making this look so nice indeed. So there's Swan over there, we've got a scope on this now, so we'll be able to hit him from a little bit more of a range out nice and easy, and in addition to that, he also benefit from, from the uh, Sniper as a perk, which gives us the chance to knock him down every couple of shots, which is really good. So. Assuming everything goes well, we can go ahead and keep him nice and down like that as we keep on backing off and shooting him. So this should be a relatively easy kill if everything goes properly that way. Got him knocked down again. I'm not sure um, on the actual percentages chance for getting a knockdown on this, but it seems to be consistent enough that we're doing it in between reloads, which is good. Again, that reload animation only loading in five... Um, rounds at once really makes using this thing super easy when you've got a very very short reload um, indeed despite loading in five bullets but 18 are loaded I'm, I'm not sure how that's supposed to work IRL but this isn't real life this is Fallout and in Fallout giant mutants attack women wearing strange clothing and we sure do get a hell of a lot of shots in this thing and bats even with a script this thing is extremely um, uh, generous with its VAT shots which really works to your advantage if you can't be bothered to aim just like me so is he dead oh let's not have him fall on me because that would probably crush you but luckily bodies have no collision we can walk straight through him but there you have it that was that against one we'll go ahead and toss on a legendary effect on this and then find out what it can do against another monster Alright, so in my understanding, there is a Henry lever action repeater in uh, Red Dead Redemption, so I see no better, more appropriate legendary effect to chuck on this thing than the Deadeye effect. So getting stuck into this ghoul now, we can see that this thing is going to be very, very useful against a skittish and fast-moving 
target like this particular ghoul. And we'll try to get as many headshots as we possibly can. Of course, that sniper coming in doing the little knockdown effect every uh, few shots will definitely help us out for a little bit. And since this guy is so lankily tall, we can go ahead and get a lot more shots on him. Now, something I've noticed about this weapon is that um, its spread seems to be a lot higher than what the standard lever action rifle is. And as you can tell there, my crosshair was pretty much right on him and I didn't hit him for some reason. There we go again and again. So, from my understanding, I, I suppose this thing has a little bit more base spread or just the follow-up shots just aren't as good. Now, it wasn't much of a problem against Swan because he's such a large target. And in Gunners Plaza, we were mostly in uh, close quarters engagement, so it didn't really matter all that much. But in that opening clip against that turret, you can tell that this thing sometimes struggles with many, many follow-up shots. So we'll try to finish off this ghoul here. Come on, go to hit him. Just pause between shots, I suppose. That's the way to go. That was just me missing. Now, we don't want him to see us at this point because any hit against us will be definitely a one-shot kill, and that would be bad. But there we go. There is one dead ghoul, and yeah, you've caused quite the headache for me today, so I'm going to cause one for you. Prick. Alrighty, so that was this against the ghoul. Let's chuck on a legendary effect of my design and clear out the next boss. Alrighty, so I've been enjoying using this thing as a stealth repeating rifle thingy, so we're going ahead and chucking on the uh, covert effect, which gives us an additional sneak attack multiplier, which should make it nice and easy to take out a giant Mylurk overlord dude over here, so he's going to be running at us pretty soon, but the sniper knockdown effect affects him too. Unfortunately, the way he face planted there, his carapace blocked out most of those shots, which is a little bit of a shame. But I think we can do quite a good amount of damage on his legs if we've got a good shot at them. Now he's all gone to Butation Station, which is uh, means he's a lot more deadly. So I just want to go ahead and kill him just like this. Hopefully we don't have to move because for some reason this Mylurk is having bad times with RNG is, and is consistently being staggered over. So if you've been following this channel for a while... You might notice that most of the time I resort to using sneak attack crits to do enough damage for, you know, to kill these types of enemies here. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's just that you need to sometimes play to the weapon's strengths and sometimes if they've got a suppressor, the definitely the best way to do that is... Ow, my face. I'm going to shoot yours now, so cop that, mate. Yeah, so playing to the weapon strength is probably the best way you can go, especially with these balance weapons where the only way you can get a whole lot of a damage multiply is by doing a whole bunch of sneak attack crits. And yeah, if bodies didn't have collision, I'd get crushed there too. So obviously stealth is a little bit on the overpowered side in Fallout 4, but you know what, that's fine. Fallout 4 isn't the perfect game, and yeah. We can allow this little sneak attack thing to go on. I think it's a fun way to play anyways. But there you have it. That was the Henry Lever Action Repeater. If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, be sure to check out the description below. There should be links to this thing on PC and Xbox One. Also, if you're interested on the legendary effects for your own weapons, and if you're on PS4, you can check on the legendary effects on the Far Harbor Lever Action Rifle, which is relatively the same despite not having a... Uh, the ammo capacity or looks of this weapon, you can go ahead and download that too. But for now, yeah, thank you for watching, guys.